Hey, this looks exciting. It looks to be an obelisk, which is, of course, a large monument usually carved from one piece of stone. Not the stone, Augie. The picture's on it. It's of people, but with animal heads. Hmm, animal-headed humans. I wonder if they're some sort of teenage mutant ninjas. Oh, I want a platypus head. Those aren't mutant ninjas. They're gods. Behold, monster children, I am Ra, god of the sun and first pharaoh of the world. Every day my golden ship sails through the sky, and at night I pass through the underworld and battle unholy creatures, only to emerge each dawn again. Why do you have a bird head? Many Egyptian gods have animal heads or features. Wait, many gods? Oh, sure. Like lots of early cultures, Egyptians were polytheistic, meaning they worshipped multiple gods. Our nine main deities were known collectively as... The Egyptian Avengers? Uh, no. The Aeneid. Come, let me introduce you. Let's go! Actually, my mom said not to cross any supernatural obelisk threshold, so... <laughs> Too late. I'm already pulling you. <laughs> Monster children meet Nephthys and her husband, Set. Pleasure to meet you, kids. I am the river goddess. And I am angry! <laughs> Stop that, Set. Go get me another fruit punch. Uh Yes, dear. Sorry about that. My husband, Set, is the god of the desert and evil. But in general, Egyptian mythology is optimistic, since their beliefs revolve around the Nile, which was a friendly and generous source of life. This pleasurable lifestyle also led the Egyptians to focus on the afterlife, never wanting their happy lives to end. Okay, but, um, why are the weird heads? Who are these guys? Oh. That is Jeb, the Earth God, and his wife, Nut, the Sky Goddess. Her father, Shu, the Wind God, watches to make sure the sky and Earth stay apart. Oh, welcome to my party, strange children. I am Osiris. I was the second pharaoh of the world, after Ra. And I also taught humans how to farm. This is my wife, Isis, goddess of magic. When my evil brother Set killed me, she bound me back together with her magic into the first mummy. Now I rule the underworld. <laughs> I sure did. And this is our son Horus. All human pharaohs believe to be descendants of him. <laughs> we are so proud of him. Say hi, Horus. What's up? So fascinating. I just want to meet you all. Even that guy. Ah. That's Ptah. He existed before all other things and simply thought the world into existence. Ugh, that's no big deal. He also created the platypus creature simply by saying the word. I take it back. He's my hero. Well, we're all rather fond of you precocious monster children as well. And as a sign of good faith, my friend Thoth, the god of wisdom and writing, would like to present you with this. Are you ready for the magic orbs question? Sure are! Rejoice! Ha ha! You've answered the riddle correctly. Let's go find the other orbs. I am most unhappy to report that is incorrect. But cry not! For you can return another time and try again, or you may search for the other hidden orbs. The choice is yours. Well, we're all rather fond of you precocious monster children as well. And since you've already won our magical orb, I have nothing more to offer you, except fruit punch. <laughs> Thanks, but we gotta go find the rest of the orbs. See ya!